Hello there. We will go over how to limit access to the Add to Cart button for your store's products. If you are offering membership, you might want to offer special perks to your members, such as discounted or free shipping, access to exclusive collections, or the ability to purchase limited time products. Hiding the Add to Cart button is a simple tactic you can use to encourage new customers to sign up for your membership plan, and once they do, they can gain access to and purchase whatever your store may be offering. This can include anything from custom apparel to ebooks to videos and more. Let's get into it. You can add perks to membership plans in the Membership Plan and Perks section. Click the Edit button under Membership Perks to configure them for the respective membership plan. This drop down menu lists out all of our currently available perks. Select the option to limit access to the Add to Cart button. Now you will need to fill out several different fields. The first is the selector for the Add to Cart button. You can find the selector by inspecting the product page and getting the selector from your browser's dev tools. If you are not comfortable with handling dev tools, you can contact our support team. We are available 24-7 and can help you out with it. I will copy the selector for the Add to Cart button and paste it into this field. Afterwards, Enter a simple one-line block message which will display in place of the Add to Cart button for non-members. Then there's the Restrict via dropdown which will have two options, restricting by URL or by product attribute. For URL, you simply add the URL of the product page or pages in question, and based on it, the Add to Cart button will be hidden. The other option, Product Attribute, will be used for hiding the Add to Cart button for products based on tags, collections, vendors, and types. The URL option also has a path match associated with it, which can be set to either contain a part of the URL which affects multiple products, or require an exact URL match which affects a single product. If you were to use the exact match for a specific product page, you will need to copy the product URL on your store, more specifically everything from the forward slash after dot com onwards, and paste it into this field. In contrast, if you choose Contains to hide all products in a catalog, you would only need to copy the URL as far as it reflects that catalog page. For this store, that would be only until forward slash products. The other option of hiding the Add to Cart button is through Product Attributes. This can be used to hide the button for multiple products at the same time. This drop-down menu lists four different attributes, tags, vendors, collections, and types, all of which are available in Shopify. For example, I will choose Tags here, and let's say that I wanted to hide the Add to Cart button for all the hats for sale in this store from non-members. In the Shopify admin, I can search for all the different types of hats and associate the same tag to all of them. For the purposes of this video, all of these products have already been set with the Hats tag. In addition to tags, you can also add any of the other three options listed from the drop-down list, vendors, collections, and types, if you wish to do so. Now copy the tag of your Shopify product and paste it into this field here. You would do the same thing for all of the other options from the drop-down as well with their respective Shopify attributes. Save the membership plan and you're good to go. When you are done, click to save this membership plan. In order to see the button, members must be logged in with the email accounts or user IDs with which they bought membership in your store. Now go to your store and view a product page. I am currently logged into this store as a member, so the Add to Cart button will be visible. If I were to go and log out of my account to simulate a non-member and refresh this same product page, the button will now be hidden and the block message that you have configured will take its place. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you, and have a nice day.